What's going on guys and welcome to Bow Gear RC videos. So today we are going to be taking another look at our parts pile power wagon. I'm um, kind of excited about what we got to show you today guys. Um, this truck we're going to turn this into what it looks like it should be and this looks like a uh, sort of a competition belly dragger truck but it's really not quite there yet uh, we have some things we need to address with this one to get it to where i want it to be um, this i think i want to be my go-to truck if i do run into any scx 24 competitions so learning what i've learned from some of my other builds we're going to apply that to this truck and uh what i have here today guys is some parts that uh, pn racing was nice enough to uh, send me for this build so what we have is the uh scx 24 90 turn ball bearing 130 motor um originally we had a, a pn racing 70 turn in here and i really did like that motor but the uh, motor plate that i had at the time wasn't uh wasn't uh allowing me to go with a small enough pinion gear like i wanted to uh install and uh pn racing has addressed that as well uh this is their uh pinion and spur set that they sent me if we can see here it's a part number scx 2441 and then also they sent me their uh scx 24 aluminum motor mount part number scx 2450 and i will leave links down below to all these parts guys so you'll be able to just click on the links and uh see for yourself uh, what we got going on here and i'm thinking this is going to be a cheaper alternative for you than uh maybe some of the brushless options and still with my experience with the pn racing 70 turn i'm sure that this motor is going to give you all the power your scx 24 needs so without further ado let's let's take a peek in here and see what we have for a motor right now in case you uh, don't remember or aren't familiar with this we have a surpass hobby 2030 size 4500 kv and although i love the 4500 kv it's the perfect amount of power and speed for this truck it's just very large and uh it's giving us a little bit of a higher center of gravity so we are going to address that we're going to get this out we're going to install the new motor and uh, maybe we'll uh, replace the teju with a uh, lizard esc so that uh, we can reduce this uh, center of gravity even more so let's get into it okay guys so i got the transmission out got the old motor and uh, motor plate removed and uh, this is when we noticed the first of the differences um this would be the, your hot racing spur gear and this is the spur gear you get with the pn so we're back to what looks like the original uh teeth so it's one of the things we're going to point out um in the package it comes with directions so this piece is just going to go on to the end of our motor with a couple of the m2 by 4 screws and then the motor mount is going to mount onto those two holes we'll be able to adjust our pinion and it does come with a, a 10 tooth an 11 tooth and a 12 tooth and it looks like they sent me some extras so that's always cool i like extras so on the back side of the uh directions here it's pointing out that we have this little marker this little uh i guess a little sticker this is so if if you are using the stock electronics tray here you can put this sticker on there and trim out because the motor is going to come forward but we don't have any of that on our truck so that's a part that we're going to skip out so i'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff together and get it back in the truck one other thing to note on this uh motor 
Uh, the plug on the end of the motor is to go into your stock axial uh, ESC receiver combination. So for my application, we are going to have to uh, take this off. All right, guys, so we got everything installed on here. Motor plate, I was just basically replaced the old motor plate with the new motor plate. Uh, the difference I'm seeing here is the adjusters are on the side, and I actually kind of like that because it means that we can adjust from the side if we need to. But uh, I use the uh, 10 tooth pinion, which is the smallest pinion they provide, and it looks like uh, when we adjust the motor all the way down, the uh, gear mesh is just about perfect as far as I can tell. So I'm going to have to assume that that was by design. So, uh, yeah, looks real good. Nothing left now but to uh, get it in and make sure that our drive shafts are clocked correctly. All right, guys, so we got this thing installed. I went ahead while I was uh, working on it and reworked it again. So this is now the third rendition of this uh, particular truck. And uh, I'm kind of really liking the way everything is working out. As you can see... We got everything tucked down into this valley right here. Um, we replaced the Teju with the uh, with the Lizard ESC. We got it all tuned and set up for this brushed motor. Uh, receiver down here between the frame rails. A little small battery pack right here in the center. And uh, look at that. Look at that, man. She all tucked right in there. Got it nice and low. And that's one of the advantages, I think, of the 130 motor. Um, the 130 size, to me, in my opinion, is the perfect size for an SCX24. Um, I can't find a brushless version with four poles that's this size. So this, uh, the 90 turn PN Racing, uh, seems to be probably the best brushed option on the market uh, that I've found. I, I don't, I haven't seen anything better in a brushed motor. Uh, to date the 70 turn was was a good motor, but this 90 turn. I like it better. I believe um, Yeah, she's got plenty of power She uh, She's gonna do the deal. She's gonna walk to walk and talk to talk <laughs> So yeah Really happy with this man. Uh, thanks to uh, PN racing for sending me this to try out. I'm uh, I'm really liking it and I think you guys will like it too. Uh, and like I say, you can use this with your stock receiver ESC combination if you like. Um, I just went ahead and did the Fury Tech because uh, it's small and I want to make this thing uh, low as I can get it. So uh, that's about it for this video, guys. Next time, I think we're going to do some more work on this. I have a couple other things that I want to do to uh, get this thing uh to where I think it might be competition ready, but uh, I do believe that this is the motor we are going to ultimately be running in this truck for that purpose without uh, any doubt, unless something uh, better comes along. But right now, I just don't see it on the market, guys. So, till next time, Ho Uncle Lee, Bogear RC Video said, I'll see ya.